If you're watching this video, you most likely have a Porsche Boxster or 911 convertible and you have a broken convertible top switch. So today I'm going to show you how the switch actually works and give you a temporary fix if you can't open or close your top and then show you how to replace the entire console switch box um, because you can't just buy the convertible top switch. You have to switch out the entire box. So if you're not sure which part I'm talking about, this is the console switch assembly. That's the switch that opens and closes the convertible top. I'll show you. See, there's little buttons right there. I'll, I'll show you how that works on the inside too. I press this other button and it opens. Now in order to access it, you gotta take off these side panels right here and they just come right off. You just basically pull a little bit from the sides and then pull forward. Out, out a bit, and then pull, slide forward. See, and it comes right out. Then you need to take the center part out. It just pops right out. Just be careful because this little frame is uh, pretty thin and can crack easily if you don't pull it out right. And this second part is two pieces. I'll take them out separately. It's this part right here. And then there's like a little gasket. So basically all you got to do is just pull this out. See, so it just pops right out. Okay, so basically what it does when you pull or push the convertible top switch, it pushes these little things forward here. These little, these little pieces come forward and then they press onto that elastic piece and then it presses the button here on the motherboard. Okay, so you can, so you can access the inside of this box by removing the four screws at the corner, which I'll do right now. Okay, so once you remove the four screws, you can open up the back, and then you'll see the electronics. There's a board here, and then there's this uh, little elastic piece, which actually has the little buttons that make it click. And then be careful, there's three little prongs that come out, and you don't want to mess them up. If you break them off, then you're going to have to find a, someone that knows how to solder electronic shit and solder it back together. So if you need to close the top or your switch is broke, you could close it from, uh, you could close it using this motherboard piece or circuit board, I don't know what it's called, and this elastic piece. So you see where the three prongs are? You're gonna plug this in here, hold on. Okay, so now that, now that this thing is connected, we should be able to um, close or open the top. Let me. So yeah, it's closing. I mean, yeah, now it's opening. Okay, so when you're doing this with the uh, box, the plastic box, it has a little um, notch so you don't put this connector on the wrong direction. So make sure that you're putting the switch with the notch facing up. If you don't know what I mean, I'll show you right now. Hold on. If you, uh, so when you're using this uh, box here, that connector only goes in one way because it has that notch there. But when you take this off, it can go in both ways. But you, so you got to make sure you put it on the correct way. Just refer to your little box if you don't know. But anyway, it's that notch piece facing up. So now I'm going to show you how to actually replace the entire console because that just doesn't look good. <laughs> oh yeah, I bought this. I bought this uh, replacement console switch assembly from suncoastparts.com. I've, I've had to look at that ugly switch for so long that I'm actually really excited. So it comes with all the different option buttons that you would need. It comes with the little silver pieces that go in the between and the actual console switch itself. And I know this goes without saying, but you can't just put on one of these buttons and add the option. <laughs> you have to use the uh, same option buttons that came with your vehicle. Oh yeah, these, are, these little pieces here are for the buttons that have lights on them. Yes. Well, let's see, I'll show you the ugly one again. Yeah, that looks fucked up, huh? 